Hi everyone and thank you for watching my video. Some insight came to me and I just decided to just go with it. Um, I don't really know why I'm making this video but this seems really important at, at this moment so um, I don't want to waste it. So um, in this video I'm going to talk about time and the reason why time is not a construct like a lot of people say it is. They say time's just a made up thing that human beings made. But um, I don't I don't think so. And I'm going to explain why time is not a construct or some made up thing. Time is a very real thing. And I'm going to explain why. And I'm going to even explain some of the nature of what time actually is versus, you know, just calling it a construct. You know, calling it a construct is like kind of implies that it's fake. Or just something that you know disposable but that's not the case so I'm gonna you know with, without further explaining uh, videos but the two theor Einstein theories that I'm gonna um, talk about and explain what time is by time not being a construct is uh, Einstein's theory of relativity and his general theory of relativity now in Einstein's theory of relativity he said that if you had two twins and you put one twin on a rocket ship and you um, you shot him to outer space somewhere at some really fast speed and he just he stayed gone for years and years and years and then he came back eventually and um, re-met his twin again. Um, in that case, he would be much, much younger than his twin because he had been moving at fast speeds for all that time. And um, based on that, he says that the clock inside of his spaceship would have, would be running slower for this reason. And the clock of the twin that was left on Earth would be moving, running faster. Running, yeah, it will be running, it will be running faster compared to the clock that was, that was in the, 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 the rocket ship of this twin. So in that theory, he said that moving clocks run slower. So time slows down in a moving system. And I'm calling the, the rocket ship a system. And I'm calling the Earth, where the other twin was left, a system. So um, you could you could debate and say you can't you can't actually conduct that experiment. You can't prove this. And it's true. You can't put one twin on on a rocket ship and 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 um, shoot them out in space somewhere at ungodly speeds and then leave one twin. You can't you can't do that. So yeah, you know you, it's, it's unprovable. But what's what's provable? And what has been proven, and they've conducted experiment after experiment on this, is that uh, time time in a moving system, if you use a clock, and you measure with the clock, and you measure and report the times on the clock, those times will be different. So you can't prove it with a real person, but you can, clue, you can prove it with the clock. So based on this, the, the, the time, the times will, will, be, will be different. The times changed. And in this case, you have two realities you have a reality with one twin and you have a reality with the other twin that was left on earth so there's, there's two realities going and what i'm what i'm seeing here and what i'm thinking here is that time and reality are the exact same thing or like uh, they're they're conjoined together they they both you change one you change the other like that like you know how they say um in outer space, you have um, you have space, and then you have space time, and it's just one thing merged together. I'm saying that reality and time are one thing, and they're merged together within a system. And you know, in this, in this, what I'm referring to as a system now, like here, where I'm at now, um, this is a system, the system that I'm in, and the time is going to move. In it's going to move one way in my system, and. And if I go and get and go catch a bus or something or, or drive a car, then it's a new system. So the time will be you know different. If I went outer space, it's a new system. Time will be different. That's what I mean by that. So uh, that's the general the the theory of relativity that um, you know that's pretty proven as well accepted. And uh, you know if you compare it, you know these if if, if the reality and I'm going to call it reality time like space time reality time. If there's two different reality times, you know, uh, 
what's what's the common what's the common thing that changes the reality of these two times? Well, in this case, the the, the common thing that that changes is the speed that the system is is uh, is is moving, and and you know one system staying 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 still, one system is moving. So you know the faster the system's moving, the the slower time goes. So you know what what makes what's what's movement and um what speed i don't really know exactly but what i do know is that you need energy to to make movement and to make speed the more the more energy you have the more speed you can add to it so you know i could what i could say with that is that energy slows down time you put energy in the system it slows down time you take energy out of a system it speeds up time and you know um so uh, if, if that's not convincing enough, let's go to uh, Einstein's theory of general relativity. In the theory of general relativity, he said that uh, the more gravity that you have, the, the slower time moves. And here down on Earth, we have, uh, we have gravity here down on Earth. And gravity makes things fall 9.8 meters per second from, from the sky to the Earth. The gravity is what's pushing that the force is pushing that now if you go out or you go in outer space um, gravity is weaker the force is weaker and in outer space the time goes by faster in outer space so so here where the gravity is stronger time is going slow relative to relative to outer space where where the gravity is weaker so in those two those so those those are two different realities and even a spectrum of realities, because um, you know gravity uh, in it, it increases or it, it gravity decreases the higher you go. So, um, in that case, we have you know there's two we, there's two different realities. And again, I think the same principle applies. You have you have reality time. There's a time for whatever reality you're in. If you change the reality, you change the time. You change the time, you change the reality. And uh, in this case, what's what's the common thing between these two realities that we're comparing? Oh yeah. So um, before I go into that, um, what 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 proves that what what everybody knows in regards to you know gravity, the, uh, the gravity here on Earth and the gravity in outer space is your your cell phone. You use your cell phone uh, based on these laws. This is how you know it's real because um, if. Uh, there's a satellite in outer space, and then your cell phone's down here. All of your um, your maps and um, timing system is based on the. the, the um, they have to calibrate the satellite for that, to, in order to give give you the accurate maps and give you accurate time with your cell phone. That's how we know that's that's real, and and that that applies. We, that's how we know there's two reality, two time realities, one down here and one in outer space. So um, what's what's the difference between those two realities that, you know, one, the one on Earth, the one in outer space? Well, the difference is, is gravity. And um, we don't really know what gravity, they say they don't know what, they don't really know what gravity is. Well, I, I know I don't know, really. But um, what I can speak on is some of the natures of gravity that I feel every day and that I think I understand. And what I believe is that, what I, what I think I understand is that um, gravity is a type of a type of force it's a type of force um, you know it's, it's stronger here than it's weaker out there it's a type of force and any you know uh, if you think about um, physics on um, force I think it equals mass times acceleration mass itself is energy based on Einstein's E equals MC squared which says that um, energy is mass and mass is energy so you could just say you could just break that down and think into it as gravity being a type of, of, of energy so I just talked about, the, you know, so the, the difference between here on Earth with the gravity and outer space is there's an energy difference. So, again, the more energy you have, the slower time moves. And then you go in outer space, the less energy, the less gravitational energy you have, the, the, the faster time time moves. So in both of these um, these theories, uh, the, the, the bottom common thing is, is energy. And somehow, energy energy fuels time, or it it slows time down. 
So, uh, <laughs> so you know, in, in in this case, in this case, uh, time time is 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 time is a, a real a real thing. Time can be changed. Time can be changed uh, based on how much energy you you put in a system, and it's it's not a construct. It's not your imagination. It's not man-made because man did not make that that situation. The situation was already here, and you're calling it a, a construct, but it was already here. You can't call something a, you know that man-made that was that's all that's been that's, that's primordial and it has been here forever since the beginning. So, uh, so, so, so yeah. So uh, time is is not. A construct. I truly don't. I don't believe it's a it's a construct um, based on these things. It's a very real thing. It's um it's embedded, and uh, it, it's embedded in our reality, and they are the same thing. Reality and time are the exact. They they're the same. They're the same. They're the same thing. Some kind of way. They're not separate. They're they're the, they're the same thing, and. You know, um, all these experiments that, that I just talked about, they're, they're done with with clocks, physical, real physical clocks. And one clock will be different from a, from another clock. And, you know, the the reality of one clock will be different from the reality of, of another clock. But, um, you know, there's no construct involved with that because you, we're talking a real physical clock, two different clocks with two different times because they're under two, two separate realities. And um, of course, I'm oversimplifying this, this, this idea, this principle, but it, it's the whole point of simplifying it like this or oversimplifying it is to make a point. So I hope you took something from this video. <laughs> And um, again, I don't really know why I made it. I just came to me, so I went with it, and I, I followed my instincts. Um, it's probably something that's going to come to me later. That's going to tie it back to this, and I'm going to be, I'm going to ready for it. Be ready for it because I, I made the video and I thought into. People watching, did I miss something? Um, you have something to add? What, what do you think can make this idea, this theory better? Um, let me know. Um, did you like the video? You know, let me know. Let me know if you like the video. Click, click the like button. If you did, did you not like the video? If you didn't like the video, don't, don't click the dislike button. Please, um, drop a comment in the section explaining why. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you all. And you have a beautiful rest of your day, evening, noon, night, whatever time it is in your part of the world. I'm out.